This episode of D News is brought to you by the Buy Power Card from Capital One. Every purchase brings you closer to a new Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, or Cadillac vehicle. Bah! Can you actually be scared to death? Why, are you working on a case study? Hey everyone, Trace here with our special guest, Wilson Cleveland. Hey Wilson. Hello. We've all said it millions of times, but can you actually be scared to death? Well, it turns out that you can. And if you've ever seen me before my morning coffee, you know exactly what I'm talking I, about. I have actually seen you like that. When a person experiences a sudden fright, the brain perceives a threat and flips a switch on the body's natural fight or flight response. Right, we evolved to react quickly when threatened. It comes from a time when we were living in the wild and a predator could be the difference between us living to an old age or dying right then and there. Fear, adrenaline, body temperature, brain activity, muscle reactions, so many parts of your body immediately react when you're scared, especially suddenly. The fight or flight response is why you jump when you're startled, so that's your body trying to kickstart you into action. Right, what's happening inside starts with your hypothalamus in your brain. When your brain perceives a threat, it activates the sympathetic nervous system and the adrenal cortical system. When these systems activate, they prime your smooth muscle tissue and release norepinephrine, epinephrine, and 30 other hormones directly into your bloodstream. All these hormones immediately raise your blood pressure, kicks your focus out of the way, tells your body to convert glucose to energy like now. Your heart races, your blood vessels constrict. On top of that, your pupils dilate, your digestive system and immune system system shut down to conserve energy. You might think that this seems silly, by the way, to remove your focus, but the brain wants you to be able to take in as much information as possible, which is why when you're in the woods at night, you hear everything. And it's super scary. We usually call this feeling a big adrenaline rush, but those same adrenaline surges can also lead to ventricular fibrillation or a stress cardiomyopathy. Ventricular fibrillation is a really big word, but it's also an extremely serious condition of the heart, where the electrical activity controlling that heartbeat gets all confuzzled. When this happens, the heart can actually stop pumping blood, causing oxygen deprivation to the brain. That's bad. Usually, especially for long periods of time. A stress cardiomyopathy is also known as broken heart syndrome, which I'm familiar. It's okay, buddy. Stress cardiomyopathy appears usually during times of grief or just after moments of high stress, like a car crash or sudden shock. The sympathetic nervous system can overdo it a little bit in this case, also screwing up the pumping of your heart. In other words, you dropped out of a heart attack. Right. But we're young and healthy dudes, right? So it's unlikely that we could be scared to death, right? Wrong. What? Neurologists at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston have collected hundreds of reports of otherwise healthy people who've died suddenly in frightening mm. situations, like victims of muggings where their assailants never touched them, children who've died on amusement park rides, and car accident victims who sustained only minor physical injuries. I even read about a woman, now that you bring it up, who experienced a stress cardiomyopathy when she was being surprised by people at her 60th birthday party. Cancel the party, I don't care about the caterers. It's life and death. What was the biggest scare you ever had? Subscribe to D News and tell me and Wilson about it down in the comments below. You can also come find me. I'm at Trace Dominguez on Twitter, Wilson. And mm -hmm. I'm at Wilson Cleveland on Twitter. Great. See you later. Bye. This episode of D News was brought to you by the Buy Power Card from Capital One. Every purchase brings you closer to a new Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, or Cadillac vehicle.